Hello, this is Mike at Game from Scratch, and welcome to a quick tip. Uh, one of the things we have to commonly do in game development is handle transparent sprites. That is, if you're drawing a sprite or an image texture that has uh, a colored background, it doesn't look exactly what you want to look like often. And today what we're going to look at is the process of taking a chroma keyed sprite and turning it into a transparent sprite. Uh, it's a very simple process, sort of. Now, in execution, it doesn't always work out as easily as you want it to, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So first off, we need a sprite to work with, and we're going to use an old free sprite pack available on uh, gamedev.net from a user called Prince Eugen. Um, and it is this nice pack of jet sprites, as you can see right here. It's completely free. You can download it from this link right here, and I'll put this link in the comments down below. I'll also put the link for the plugin we're going to ultimately be using down below as well. So when you've got one of these sprites extracted, it looks like this. And what this is, is they picked one color here, this background green color. It's something called a chroma key. And it's common to do this. Basically, you have a single background color that isn't commonly used. It's often like a green or a fuchsia. And you use that particular color to represent where there is no transparency. However, with modern graphics formats such as uh, PNG, for example, uh, there's an alpha channel encoded. So you can just have transparency anyways. Now, it used to be that... Um, a chroma keyed sprite like this would actually be a lot faster to render, but that is kind of a moot point now. Uh, so if you get stuck with dealing with a sprite like I've got here, you're often going to have to go ahead and remove the background. So here is an example of rendering a sprite in the game. And obviously you don't want that background to be drawn. So what we want to do is get rid of that background. Now the naive way to do it would be just to load up, I'm using paint.net for this example, but load up paint.net and just about every single graphics tool has a similar tool. And it's this guy, the magic wand. And just go click. Um, and then you might have to play with the tolerances a bit so that it's not selecting inside of your airplane. And then just hit delete. And then we can do the opposite down below and then hit delete. And then from the looks of things, we're pretty good to go. So we've deleted the uh, outlying pixels as best as possible and save that out. And we'll run that in our game. Uh, like so. Ooh. So we have this dotted line and we got some green blotchiness up here. So what that would basically require you to do now is go into your image editor, uh, such as paint.net here, uh, zoom in and just manually delete these leftover or remnant pixels. And if you're doing a bunch of them, this gets time consuming very, very fast. So there's gotta be a better way. Well, thankfully there is. First off, you're gonna have to go ahead and download a plugin. It's called the Grim, uh, Grim Color Reaper plugin, available for free on paint.net. I'll give you the link to this as well. Uh, so basically you just grab that file. Uh, it's zipped right here. Extract the DLL inside of it and copy that into your paint.net so program files, paint.net, effects, and just paste the DLL in here. So that's it for the install process and then load paint.net up normally. So like I said, I will grab, I will link this um, download for you. Uh, so now that once you've got it installed, uh, let me just undo a couple things. So we're back to our source image. Okay, so we got our, our transparent color key source going on. Well, now you'll notice if you go into the effects, under color, there's this Grim Reaper color here. But first thing we're gonna do is make an active color, uh, our background. So I'm just gonna come in here, take the color picker, and pick one of these greens. Now, oh, I'm also gonna select nothing. All right, so pick the green. So you see our active color is now that green, like so. So our primary color is green. I'll go into the effects, color, and then Grim Reaper. And now what you're seeing is it's pulling some of the green out of the actual image. And we obviously don't want that. So we're just going to slide things until we get the settings that we want. Like so, the tolerances go. We basically want to go full blown here. Uh, we can also change this guy out a bit, but it's not going to have any major effects. Uh, so you notice that we're keying off the primary color. We could have also done the secondary color white or black. So what this is saying is it's going to search for this color and get rid of it. Now you'll notice we still have a little bit of legacy coloring in here, but that's not a real big deal. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and apply this guy. So now they're all gone. And we'll just sample one of these leftovers, like so. And apply again. And now you'll notice completely gone from the contours of our image. Click go ahead and save that. And now when you run this code in game, perfectly transparent sprite. 
So very handy thing you've got to, if you've got to erase a background and the magic wand tool just isn't doing it for you, I highly check, recommend you try it this way. Uh, it's a very fast, clean way of getting rid of a single color background image. Now there's probably a few hundred thousand other ways of doing it, uh, but this way works for me, works reliably. Uh, so I recommend you check out the Grim Reaper, uh, Grim Color Reaper uh, plugin. Uh, so that was it. Thanks for watching. See y'all later. Bye.